Hi guys, my name is Tito. I make videos on personal finance, saving and investing every Wednesday. My videos are kind of awesome if I do say so myself. Anyway, in today's video, I want to talk to you about how you can save at least 25% of your income every month. Now, before I dive into it though, I do have a request of you guys. Um, I know this may sound like one of those things that YouTubers often say in their videos, but it would genuinely make me happy if you did this. Guys, please like this video by clicking on the like button. Clicking on the like button would help my channel and this video to perform better in search. So please like the video, click on the like button. And if you're interested in personal finance videos like this one, videos for young people, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button as well. Now, real quick, this video is mainly for people whose monthly income or paycheck or salary is actually enough to cover all their monthly living expenses but for whatever reason, they're unable to save money. Now, I say this because there may be people, you know, in the other category, i.e. people whose monthly income is not enough to cover their monthly living expenses, who may be watching right now, and it may be a bit insensitive of me or inconsiderate for me to be telling such people to save 25% of their income when their entire income is not even covering their monthly living expenses as is. Maybe I'll make a separate video for them on how they can augment their income or how they can save on a limited income. But for now, this video is mainly for people um, who earn sufficiently to cover their monthly living expenses but have trouble saving some of their income. Step one, find your why. The first step in saving 25% of your income every month is in identifying what you're saving for or why you're saving. This is what will help you continue saving on those days when you don't necessarily feel like saving. Look at it this way. It's like those days when you wake up and you don't feel like going to work and you ask yourself, why exactly am I going to this job again? And you remind yourself that you're going to this job because you want to keep food on the table, you want to keep a roof over your head, and you want to keep your kids in school. So also with saving. Identifying your reasons for saving or what you're saving for is what will help to keep you consistent with your saving. And more importantly, it's what will help you stay consistent or help you keep on saving on those days when you actually feel like spending rather than saving. Step two, what is 25%? The second step in saving 25% of your income every month is in calculating what exactly is 25% of your income so that you know what amounts you are targeting to save each month. Say for example, my monthly paycheck or income is 100,000 Naira. I'm in Nigeria, so I'll use Naira. You can substitute it for dollars or British pounds or euros or dirhams or whatever currency is the legal tender where you are. So 25% of 100,000 Naira is 25,000 Naira. So that's the amount that I'm aiming at saving each month. For some people, it's that simple. They just calculate 25% of their one income source. But for people that have multiple income sources, they'll need to sum up all their income sources and figure out what's 25% of the cumulative. That will be their own savings target amount. Step three, automate. The third step is to automate your savings by using an app or by giving your bank an instruction to transfer your target saving amount to your dedicated savings account each week or each month or however frequently you want to save money. Now, clearly you could do it manually or whenever you want to do it, but when you automate your savings using an app like say PiggyVest, you make the process much more seamless and much more efficient and you take the emotions out of it and there's less, a less of a chance of you forgetting to save because lots of times people actually forget to put their money into their savings account. But when you automate it, that's no longer a problem. Now, I use PiggyVest to save. It's really awesome. I've set it to transfer a certain amount of money from my bank account to my PiggyVest Flex Nara wallet on the first of every month and in that wallet or for my money in that wallet I'm paid interest on my savings as well which is pretty awesome and you can use PiggyVest as well to simplify your saving process you can use my link showing on the screen right now and which is also in the description box below to register for PiggyVest and if you do both you and I will get 1000 naira free from PiggyVest so click on that link and start saving step four budget and budget cuts now, going by my earlier example, I've been able to save 25,000 Naira, and that means that I have 75,000 Naira left to cover all my monthly expenses. Now, by making a budget, 
it will help me make sure that I live within my means or within my budget, which now is 75,000 Naira. And creating a budget essentially is listing out all your living expenses, things like internet, laundry, transportation, insurance, so on and so forth, and knowing what all that will amount to. So if in a situation or in an instance where my budget is more than what I actually have, the 75,000 Naira, it means that I need to make some cuts or make some sacrifices. So for example, if I was going out for drinks with the boys five times a month, I may need to cut that down to maybe two times a month in order to save money and to make sure that I'm living within my budget of 75,000 Naira. Or if I was subscribed to maybe five or six streaming platforms, I may choose to cut that down to maybe one or two in order to save money and to make sure that I'm living within my budget. So only you, with the help of your budget, will know where you can make adjustments so that you can ensure that you are living within your budget and that you're able to just sustain your lifestyle and you're able to save that money that you're aiming to save in the first place. Step five. Track your expenses. Now, it's one thing to create a plan. It's another thing to implement or execute a plan. Making a budget is creating a plan, but tracking your expenses is the process of implementing that plan. Because when you document your daily expenses throughout the month, you are ensuring that your spending is kept within budget and that you are on track and that you're not spending money outside of your budget or on things that aren't in your budget. And once you do that, you are on course and you're also ensuring that you're not going to be dipping your hands into your savings. So there you have it, guys. Five steps to successfully save at least 25% of your income every month. First, find your why. Secondly, what is 25%? Third, automate. Fourth, budget and budget cuts. Five, track your expenses. Now, don't necessarily pat yourself on the back for having watched this video. Pat yourself on the back after you've implemented these five steps and you start seeing the changes in your bank statement and in your savings, which is the purpose of this entire exercise. And if you do this or you practice this exercise for the next one month, one month or for a period or a season in your life, you'll gain value in four different ways. First of all, you'd have developed the habit of budgeting. Secondly, you would have developed the habit of tracking your expenses, which is also very valuable. Third, you would have put in place a bulletproof saving system. And fourth, you would have actually saved. So those are four valuable things that you'd get from indulging or practicing this exercise. Try it out. I think you won't regret it. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it by clicking on the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And feel free to subscribe to my channel as well. If you're into videos like this on personal finance, saving and investing for young people, feel free to also check out some of my other videos on personal finance as well. Remember that you can click the referral link in the description box below if you are trying to or if you'd like to register on PiggyVest. And if you do, you'll get 100... You get 1,000 Naira. I wish it was 100,000 Naira. You get 1,000 Naira free of charge from PiggyVest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Take care.